I do my keyword research is kind of time consuming. I do it all manually, really. I go over to Google, do some searches around my niche or my niche, and yeah, see what Google suggests. I scan through the search results uh, pages and have a look at what other sites are coming up. Are they other affiliate sites? Is it forums? Is it, is it you know high authority kind of sites? I also look at the related searches. I also find keywords everywhere kind of handy. It gives you values and gives you a kind of indication on the volume around certain keywords. It allows you to kind of prioritize uh, which ones you want to create content for. But yeah, it's quite a laborious process. I end up putting all of it into a spreadsheet and, and working through it from there. Now, wouldn't it be great if there was a tool that did all this stuff for you, that you know, scraped Google, came up with all the suggestions, got the keyword uh, volumes from keywords everywhere, check the competition, basically all that stuff that I've just talked about that I'm doing manually. Well, in this video, I'm gonna be taking a look at Low Fruits, which is a brand new keyword tool. Well, it's fairly new actually. Brand new might be a bit strong. It's pretty new and it kind of does all this stuff. It gets all the information from Google, it gives you keywords, ideas, and the best thing about it is it identifies the low fruits. What are the low fruits? Well, they're the keywords that have got some volume, but have also got low competition. So in theory, if you create some good content around those keywords, you should rank pretty quickly. So I'm gonna be showing you how this tool works, and I'm also gonna show you the results of a little test that I did with uh, the tool. Basically, I had 10 bits of content written around 10 keywords that I took from this tool, and well, I'm gonna share with you the results. Did they rank? Did they bring in any traffic? It's all in this video. So let's get on the computer and let's take a look at Low Fruits. So this is Low Fruits. You can find it at lowfruits.io. But of course I'd prefer if you use one of my affiliate links. So I'm gonna put a link up now. You'll also find the link in the description if you click through on that link and buy some credits. I'll earn a small commission, so thank you very much. So I'm logged in. Uh, let's go to the dashboard and I'll show you exactly how this tool works. So here is the dashboard. Um, I've already run a few reports, but I'll show you how to uh, create a new report. You simply click get keyword ideas. Ideas? Oh, can I speak? Let me put my teeth in. Find long tail keyword ideas and you enter a seed keyword. Now I'm gonna do some keyword research for one of my websites. The website is knowledgeablemind.com. Covers a number of different things. One of those things is numerology. Numerology. That is how you spell it, isn't it? I think so. Always make sure that your seed keyword is spelt correctly. There we go, yeah. So numerology is the mystical study of, you guessed it, numbers. Uh, so let's see what we get. In here you can enter your domain. It's kind of handy because you can get some search results and stuff, um, you know, SERP analysis, I mean to say. So let me type in my domain, which as I say is knowledgeablemind.com. There we go. If you enter a max DA, that will kind of limit the results that it comes about. It does its competitive analysis. Uh, you can find out more by clicking learn more here. Um, it's not recommended to put that in if you've got a new site or if you have a low DA. So I'm just gonna leave that. Country is uh, US um, for this site, but of course you could change it to any of the other Googles if you've got a you know, country specific site. And then in the advanced options, you can add some negative keywords. So um, you know any searches that you don't wanna see in the report. So people do search using the word Reddit and stuff and you probably, you don't want those results because you're not Reddit, are you? Anyway, uh, let's click find keywords. It's gonna take a few moments. There we go, that's done. It's found 2,712 keywords. So, we've got a few options here. We can see um, the keyword ideas by clicking here. We can run some analysis. So this is just on the high intent keywords. So things like best, review, comparison versus, very good for affiliate sites. Or we can get analysis on all keywords. now. This analysis does use up credits, and you basically buy credits as you go along. Now I've already got some reports that I'm gonna show you in a minute anyway, uh, which have got a full analysis. 
I'll just run this one for now, show you what you get, because I think that's probably gonna be the report that most of you guys are gonna to wanna to look at. Let's click access. And um, it's gonna do that now, and it's gonna take about 10 minutes. While it does that analysis, let's have a look at um, some of the reports that I've already run for a few of my other sites. So let's take a look at the popcorn one. So this is the report. And you've got a few toggles so that you can kind of um, reduce the number of keywords down and get a clear idea on what you wanna focus on. So a good one is the low fruits. So this will just show you the keywords that have um, a lot of weak spots. Let me show you what a weak spot is. So for example here, vegan microwave popcorn. It's got uh, five little fruits here. So these are potential sites that we can knock off by creating a good bit of content. We've got quite low DAs, you see they're less than 20. And they're affiliate sites generally. We've got a few options here so we can actually look on Google by clicking on the little arrow. You can see there's the affiliate sites there. You can also look at the the results within Low Fruits by clicking on the little eyeball and it will kind of show you the kind of sites that are here, as well as whether it's a, a site that you could potentially knock off. You also get the related searches there that Google is throwing up. Then if you want, you can just copy this keyword to the clipboard by clicking on the uh, little copy button. You can add the keywords that you're interested in to a list. You just basically just tick them. Oh, if I can tick, yep, tick them up like this and come down here and go add to list and create a list just so that you can keep everything organized. You've got a toggle here for the top three, which will um, show you keywords that have a weak spot in the top three. So these, you've got some great potential in terms of uh, ranking well. You can filter by um, keywords that include like best, that kind of thing. Best popcorn for hot air popper. So yeah, it gives you loads of keywords really quickly. And by checking out the weak spots, I mean, this is an irrelevant keyword because it's got Reddit in it. Um, but yeah, by checking the, the weak spots, you can you know focus your content strategy and go for keywords that have got a reasonable volume. Now these volume numbers are from Keywords Everywhere. So they're kind of reliable, but of course you take all keyword volume numbers with a pinch of salt. So let's go and see if our um, other report is done. Oh, no, I've gone in the wrong place. There we go. There we go, it's at the top. I just went into reports there, where else I was going. Into reports, and here is our numerology um, report. Let's take a look. And here we go. So we again can filter by low fruits or by the top three. Let's take a look at the top three. Got lots of things around names. I see best numerology for name, best numerology number for business. If we have a look at Google, let's just see. I mean, it says there is. Um, you know, Quora's coming up, a blog's coming up, a couple of blogs. Let's have a look at the best numerology number for business. So here we've got the core. I mean, this is a UK result, so that's maybe why it's slightly different. I think that's got potential. I mean, there is a few sites answering the query. Seems like the numerology for business has got some potential for sure. There's a lot of searches around that. But yeah, there's our report and the analysis didn't take too long at all really, um, which is pretty good. But does this work? I mean, that is the question. Does it work if you create content based on some keywords from this tool? Do they rank? How quickly do they rank? All that kind of thing. So I've done a little test. And I wanted to choose 10 
keywords, and create 10 bits of content, and then just see what happens. I didn't want to create 100 bits of content, or 200 bits of content, because that's not really a good test, because if I do that, I know that some of it will just rank out of pure luck, pure chance. So I wanted to be very specific, because I think a tool like this is great for people on a low budget, people that haven't got a load of money or time to throw at content, they just want to you know, be quite targeted with their content, create stuff that's got a very good chance of ranking. So yeah, I did 10 keywords, go into lists, it's in here. It's for the popcorn site, so my website, bestcornpopper.com, which uh, by the way, I've got a playlist that contains all the videos around that site. Put a link up to that now, we find obviously all the links in the description. But yeah, I've got these 10 bits of content written and added to the site. Uh, let me show you, I'll fire up the site, bestcornpopper.com. So here's the bits of content. I think the this one's a little bit more recent, but one, two, three, four, all these are based on the keywords, the unicorn popcorn, rainbow popcorn, uh, flavor popcorn, gourmet popcorn, they're all here, let's go into the blog and I'll show you. Yeah, rainbow popcorn, mushroom popcorn, flavor popcorn, it's all there. Now this content has been up uh, on the site for about two months. It's been up for about two months, it was published back in September, around the 19th of September, something like that. It's now the 24th of November, so it's been up just over two months. And I've been tracking all of um, the keywords within Ahrefs. Um, so let me do a quick edit and fire up Ahrefs. And here we go, here is uh, Ahrefs. It's quite an expensive tool, but it's very good for tracking keywords and basically just keeping an eye on your site, it's checking out competition and all that stuff. But yeah, I've been tracking those 10 keywords. Here they are, and do you see it? Yeah, we've got one that is now position one. It's the does popcorn make you fart? It's a big question. It's that article and it's got the snippet as well. Um, which is fantastic. So let, let's just do a quick search on Google. Let me see if it's still there. Does popcorn make you fart? It's there, in fact, well, I'm logged in. I'm logged in. Let me, let me just get an incognito window. Does popcorn make you art? It's a big question. There we go, yeah, we got the snippet, we got the image, we got everything. It's looking good. So I was very impressed with that. Uh, if we have a look at the other keywords, well, they're moving around a bit. Kettle corn versus popcorn is doing okay. Um, popcorn without kernels, it's kind of moving up and down. Unicorn popcorn's on the rise. I don't know, probably needs a bit of time. But I'm really happy to get a page one, position one snippet out of you know just 10 bits of content. Now this is not to say that some of this content might be ranking for other keywords that aren't you know specifically these ones, the ones that Low Fruits um, generated. And in fact, a good way to find out if any of this content is working um, because it's all very well checking search engine positions, but you know what we really care about is traffic. So let's jump into Google Analytics and check out some of this content to see if it's bringing in any traffic. So here we are, here's the analytics for best corn popper. And let's take a look at some of the content. Let's start um, by taking a look at the, um, the fart. <laughs> Does the top corn make you fart article? Oh, I'm laughing, I'm such a child. Uh, let's see if that's actually getting any traffic. I've got it set to last 30 days, and um, I'm comparing it to the previous period so we can see if we've, you know, if we're on the rise or not. I can already see that it's in the top uh, five here. There it is, look. Does popcorn make you fart? 233 visits, up 441%. It's right here. So, wow, that's doing really well. 233 views, 233 people that are interested in whether popcorn makes you fart. I don't know what's going on there. 
Uh, let's have a look at some of the other bits of content. So the next bit of content is this kettle corn versus popcorn. Let's see if we've got anything coming in here. I'm gonna do a little search for kettle. Kettle corn versus popcorn, here it is, 29. But it's on the on the rise, it's up 81%. So it's not ranking in the top uh, 10, but still getting a bit of traffic. Let's have a look at popcorn without kernels. Oh, well, what's that slash, get, up, get rid of that. What's going on, why is that not coming out? Maybe that's not what it's called, let's try it without. I keep putting slashes in, that's not gonna help. Hmm, not coming. Let me see what it's actually called on the site. Kernels. It's right here. Look. I'm gonna copy that. I think kernels wrong. I've just noticed. Is it kernels, kernels. It's L's, kernels. It helps when you can spell things correctly. Anyway, so this one again, looking at 86 up 126%. So all this content is bringing in traffic, which of course is important. That's why we have websites, we want traffic. Unicorn popcorn, let's take a look at unicorn popcorn. Why can I not type? I'll edit, I'll edit that out, it's fine. I did spell unicorn right there, didn't I? Yeah. What is this? Spanish? I don't know what that is. Um, okay, again, 53 visits. So, I mean, do I need to go any further? Maybe we should check this one. Make you fat. Which I think is quite competitive, actually. Let's type in fat. But still, we're getting some, um, some visits. 61 up 32%. I'm really, I'm really impressed and I'm really pleased um, with this because the tool has got such a, I'm just gonna do one more search. <laughs> the, the tool, Low Fruits, as you've seen, has got such a great interface. So useful. Okay, the rainbow one's not doing as well, but the vast majority of the content is doing really well. So Low Fruits is now gonna be my go-to tool for doing keyword research. It, it basically does the same thing that I was doing manually in terms of using Google to come up with ideas and then going through Google and looking for opportunities. It does all that and it does it in a really quick and efficient way and allows you to kind of pick off some of those low fruits, some of those keywords that are gonna rank well and that are gonna bring you in traffic. So yeah, highly recommended and uh, I'm really impressed. I have created some more content uh, recently for a few of my sites um, using this tool so um, I will, of course, update you in the um, update videos for those sites. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's Low Fruits. Really easy to use and, uh, and really powerful and works really well. So there we go. That's Low Fruits. Highly recommended. It's a really useful tool and certainly takes a lot of the legwork out of uh, doing keyword research. Remember, you'll find an affiliate link uh, in the description. Really appreciate it if you use it. Let me know how you do your keyword research. Are you using Low Fruits? Maybe you're using a different tool. Uh, leave me a comment below. I do read all the comments that I get and I'll try to reply to as many as I possibly can. If you're not yet subscribed, then uh, click that button and click the bell and you should be notified. But until next time, good luck with your sites. Bye for now.